Kenny, this woman wasn't like this. She would at least call and say that she was all right. I wonder if something bad happened to her. Oh, you started making things up in your mind again? No, but she has been missing for hours. She's a grown woman. What was she supposed to do, call you? Mr. Gerald's not back, they're probably together. No, they aren't. I called him. I called Mr. Gerald and his phone is off. I can't reach him. And Mrs. Layla forgot her cell phone here anyway. Oh dear. Kenny, Kenny, I have a bad feeling about this and I don't know what to do. Should we call that lawyer, Mr. Mom, Mason? Mom, just stop complicating things. Just for one minute. Let's just wait a little more. Call if they don't turn up. <sighs> how are you, Mr. Gerald? I wonder, how can you... Look my wife and son in the eye after I... this. You're not really there. You're not really there. You think it won't be discovered? Oh, but it will one day. Everything will be discovered, Mr. Gerald. Uh, I'm imagining things. I'm just imagining things. I'm, I'm imagining things. You'll be gone when I open my eyes. Oh, my dear God. I'm not going anywhere. <gasps> please go, please go, please go, please go away. Please go away. I will not get out of your head. You will not be rid of me until you die, Gerald. My lord, help me. I'm going insane here. I'm... I'm... Mr. Gerald. Who are you looking for, Alma? Isn't Mrs. Layla with you, Mr. Gerald? Layla? Isn't Layla at home? No, she isn't. She left yesterday afternoon and never came back. Alma, why didn't you tell me this before? Did you think that now was the right time to tell me this? I called you, Mr. Gerald, more than once, but your cell phone was switched off. When I couldn't reach you, I assumed that you were what? together. What time did she leave? I'm... I think it was a little after three. After three? After three, the woman has been missing for almost a whole day. Oma! I didn't know what to do either, Mr. Gerald. I didn't know who to call when I couldn't reach you on your phone. And I didn't want to call the police without telling you everything first. Sir, my mother wanted to call Mr. Mason, but I told her not to. We didn't want to cause a fuss. We couldn't have known, Enough, you know? Enough, Kenny. She may have gone over to her brother. I'll call him. Let's keep calling. I n never thought to call Mr. Michael. Hello. Hello, Michael. Gerald? Has something happened? No, no, nothing. Uh, did Layla stay with you last night? No, she didn't. Isn't she home? <sighs> no, she isn't. She left home yesterday, apparently. We can't find her. 
I don't get it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Tell me this from the beginning. What do you mean you can't find her? No. Alma says she left the house yesterday, and apparently she left around three and never came back. I'm only just finding out about this now. What shall we do? Shall I come over there? Okay. Don't call anyone. I'm coming over. Okay, okay. Welcome, sir. My uncle is here. Jasmine, there's my beautiful girl. <laughs> mm. Come on, honey, let's get changed. You can come down and play later. How long has she been missing? She left the house at noon yesterday. She didn't take her cell phone with her. Didn't she tell anyone? No one. This is all we needed. Have you called the police? How could I? You told me to wait for you. What shall we do then? Call the police? Not yet. Let's figure out what's going on before we cause a fuss. Where could she be? I don't know, Michael. I don't know. Who else would know if you don't? Isn't she your wife? How is it you don't know? For God's sakes, Michael. How can I possibly know if she doesn't tell me anything if she lets me in on nothing? Where were you all day yesterday? I, I had things to do. I was out in the evening and stayed the night over at my father's. You stayed at your father's? Yes. Since when have you been so close to your father, Gerald? Michael, please don't push me any further. I'm telling you I'm already under more than enough pressure as it is. We need to find Layla. We need to find her, and I really don't want to call that guy. Maybe we should call him. Maybe... Maybe Layla told him where she was going. Mrs. Layla kept having dreams about a house. She said that we're keeping Kareem there. I had heard someone called Eunice Effendi. I said we should go and ask him what all this meant because he knows about interpreting those kinds of dreams. So you went to him? We did, yes. Layla must be out of her mind taking their advice. What did the man say? Were you there with them when they talked? I was there the first time, but he didn't say anything. He just sent us away. The first time? So then she went again? Mm -hmm. Yesterday. Were you not aware of all of this? I was. He called at the crack of dawn, and they talked for a while. Then she got dressed and left. I tried to talk to her, but she wouldn't listen to me. We never heard from her again. So what did the guy want to talk about? Did she ever say anything? No, Mrs. Layla came home in a flurry and locked herself inside the study. We didn't speak about it. But you know the man's address? I do. Okay. That's where we should start then. Thank you, Alma. I'll go and talk to this man. You stay here at home just in case. Your order is our command. I'm coming to you. And you need to call Sergeant Ertel. You can call him, right, Mr. Gerald? <laughs> 